Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Magda and today we're going to do the video about how much I spent in July living in Luxembourg. So let's get started. So many of you asked me about cost of living in Luxembourg. I did a few videos about groceries or like how much I spent in a week or something like this. They are uh, quite older videos. I mean, some of them are newer, some of them are older. I will link the playlist at the end of this video. But uh, today we're going to focus about very recent <laughs> spendings of mine. Uh, in July, I was full July in Luxembourg. I had my brother coming over. It was my birthday as well. So like few things were coming on. Uh, you will see when I show you my expenses and then you can decide if it was a lot or not for expenses in supposedly one of the most expensive places in Europe or even in the world probably. So yeah, so we're gonna check it out. I'm gonna share my screen with you. I have it all in an Excel file. So you're gonna be able to see the numbers, what did I put for, and then we're gonna see summary and the graph at the end of the video. So yeah, first expense, as you can see, it's top secret. <laughs> top secret is the only top secret expense, but uh, but yeah, it was 15 euro, it's a miscellaneous experience, and it was on 1st of July. Next one will be 4th of July, drinks on the concert. We went for the Arctic Monkeys concert on 4th of July, and I bought the drinks for my friends. It was 34 euro. Some of them gave me money back, some not, so 34, that's for now the balance. Uh, but usually we pay for each other as well, so it's not that I always hunt my friends for, for paying me back. Then 6th of July, two things, white wine, a Burger King, so we give the category eating, drinking out, 12 euro, 11.55, that was usual Thursday after work. Next one, 7th of July. Lidl groceries, almost 60 euro. That probably lasts me for around a week. Then I did additional groceries in Ashan for 27 euro. I had my friends over the day after, like, or the same day, I don't remember. So I bought some stuff for them as well. So that was definitely more than usually. Uh, on 10th of uh, July, I bought the youth card. That is like a card that if you're under 30, gives you some discounts in Luxembourg. So I decided to purchase it. I put sports because I'm gonna use it mainly for sports for the discounts for the pool and Pilates. Next one, expense was on 12th of July. It was Pilates, 40 euro. It was 20% discount instead of 50 euro. I paid 40 and they were three classes of Pilates. Next expense was on 14th of July. Again, Lidl groceries, almost 100 euro. Be aware that that was before my brother came and I already bought some stuff for my birthday. That was few days later. So yeah, these are slightly higher expenses for groceries, but I'm actually very happy that this time I could show you like more expensive things. I may also include, we'll see if I have them, I may include some receipts so you can see how much what costs me over there. On 16th, I went to eat out with my brother, paid uh, for each other, like I paid for my food, he paid for his food, and uh, it was Greek restaurant, also very nice, Yamas, recommending it's close to Place de Paris, and I paid 26 euro. Next place, the Gudenwellen, uh, we went for the drinks, again with my brother and my friends, and I paid 14 euro that night, I think I had like two, yeah, I think I had two, how you call them, ciders? Mm. 20th of July, <laughs> looks like first day after work, kebab and drinks, 8 euro and 11 euro. Then we have 21st of July, Barbie, Taylor Swift and Reggae Top. So basically we went for Barbie on 25th, uh, so, but my friends bought the tickets on the 21st, so I gave her money back. My friend bought the tickets for us for Paris for Taylor Swift next year, so I had to pay her almost 160 euro for Taylor Swift. And also we bought the tickets for Reggae Top, that was the biggest disappointment of my life. I paid 18 euro because it was 20 euro, but you have 10% discount if you've been before. Honestly, I was quite angry at this party because we paid a lot. It was in a different place. There was not so many people. Music was very average and you had to buy the tokens for 30 euro. It was like 15 tokens for 30 euro in order to even leave your jacket. So leaving your jacket was 20 euro. It was a cold day, rainy, so people would use it. And of course, if you wanted to buy something to drink, but yeah, on this one, for example, I didn't account it because, as I said, from time to time we buy stuff with a, uh, with a friend. So, for example, this one my friend paid, but then I paid her for a beer or something like this. Or we accounted as a as a uh, drinks on a concert. So, uh, let's say it evens up. But yeah, if I would account, I would that would be ten euro that I would owe her for for the tokens. On 22nd, I went to leave again, almost hundred euro. Okay, so this one, sorry, this one was for the birthday groceries, I think. 
So I assume this one is the one that I, so the previous one was also high. But anyways, I spent 100, almost 100 euro in, on groceries on 22nd. Then 24th of um, menstrual cup, I bought the new one, so it was 14.50. Very much recommending if you're a girl and, uh, and uh, you need one, I really enjoy them. Then 25th of July, we went for Dancing Noodles and then we went for Barbie, but like <laughs> Dancing Noodles, it's a place with ramen in the city center and it was 22 euro 60. Then 26th of July, wine, 8.90. Where did we go on? Ah, okay, there were a few concerts and I had karaoke after work. So I paid 8.90 for the wine in a place where we were looking at a concert. Then I went for karaoke where I ate and I had a drink. So it was 24.80. And then I paid for the drinks for my friends in another bar with another another band. 27th of July, wine and drinks, 12 and 15.30. As you see, me and Cody. <laughs> Cody is my friend. So, uh, so yeah, as I said, that's what we do usually with people who I go out. And then either she pays back or like she pays for me or whatever. So, or she then it's, it's not only one person. Then on 28th, I went for the groceries to Deleuze. Why 28th is before 26th, 27th? Okay, it doesn't matter. Groceries in Deleuze, uh, 53 euro. There were additional things that I needed for my first day. Then 29th was groceries in Lille, 35 euro. And... Dun -da -da -da. Last one, 31st of... July, it's rent and expenses 775 euro for my housing. So these are the expenses. And uh, now we're gonna uncover the other side where I have the graph and I have the pivot table with it. So basically I spent on miscellaneous 15 euro, on sports 52 euro, on entertainment 188 euro, on eating out and drinking out, I spent 220 three euro 40 cents on groceries 379 euro 21 cents and on housing 775 euro so this month i spent a little bit more than 1.6 k on i would say very average month life sometimes people come sometimes you have birthdays sometimes you have more expensive parties entries to the clubs this month i only went for reggaeton but if you're going clubbing it's 15 euro of course you're gonna drink out more so stuff like this there was a dinner on me but usually we do dinners with friends very normal thing so usually someone pays for the groceries like the host or we bring something so it's also something like this i would say usually i spend around 1.5 depends on the month sometimes i spend 1.3 sometimes it's 1.6 or 7 really depends but these are my normal normal expenses without doing any restrictions basically hello it's magda from the future i forgot about one expense that it's around 72 euro that i spent at work for food i just changed the jobs and i'm not used to it that i have to pay i mean i don't have to i choose to pay for the canteen and it's six euro per meal and i took it for like three weeks four days a week so it's around 72 euro so just fyi this number should be 72 euro more so we are around 1700 euro and I forgot about it because technically we are paying the month after, so it's expense of August, but I spent it in July, so I just wanted to let you know that if I would be working there the previous month, I would probably pay in July for June. I mean, as you can see, we mostly went for drinks on Thursday to the place that has happy hours. So we do slightly want to also put the expenses down so we don't go to the super expensive bars which we could do but we don't i didn't i did eat out quite a lot this month i mean twice <laughs> three times if you are if you add oscars three times but yeah you can tell me in the comments if you think it's a lot or not just for you to know that my housing is very cheap that's how you can see how i could survive with my 1.5 salary as a trainee of course now my salary is not 1.5 it's slightly bigger <laughs> But still, that's whenever someone asks me, like, is it possible to survive with trainee salary? Yes, it is possible. And yeah, you have a graph as well, so you can see that almost half of my salary goes for the housing. Then a big chunk this month was groceries and eating and drinking out and entertainment. But let's say you don't buy every month a Taylor Swift ticket. I usually don't go so much for the concerts, so... Yeah, but sometimes you have travel, sometimes you have something else. This month, no expenses on that. But yeah... Uh, let me know in the comments down below what do you think <laughs> if it's a lot if it's not i am living alone i don't like you know share food with anybody else than my friends but i don't have like you know i don't live with a boyfriend or i don't share budget for food with my flatmates so, so this is not definitely something that i would account for and yeah let me know what do you think this way you have 
kind of an idea how much you can spend in Luxembourg living here. As I said, it's usually between 1.3 and 1.7, not more, depends if I, of course, buy the trip or I have, I don't know, concerts or any other entertainment that is very expensive. That's, of course, a different story, but like usual, they, I would say I spend more on groceries than usually because I was hosting people and I was having my birthday party. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think. And if you enjoyed this video, I would be very happy if you would hit the like button. That helps me a lot with the YouTube algorithm so this video will reach more people. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel. I talk a lot about Luxembourg, living here, working expenses and salaries. So if you enjoy this type of topics and you don't want to miss any of my future videos, subscribe to my channel. And here I leave you the video about my groceries expenses in Lille and is Luxembourg expensive place. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day and I'll see you in another video.